heavyweight collision between Daniel Cormier and Andre Bishop. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you've spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice <laughs> of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> All right, so here he is, the one, the only, the inimitable Daniel Cormier, high school wrestling coach, former two-time United States Olympian, two-division UFC champion. But that wasn't enough, folks. He wanted to not only be in the video game, but to actually call his own walkout DC, the floor is yours. They say at EA Sports, if it's in the game, it's in the game, I'm in the game, and I'm also in the game as I call my own walk to the octagon. It is a phenomenal thing to watch me walk into the octagon with my shirt tucked in my pants, <laughs> my pants tucked in my socks. When you're talking about a fashion icon, you're talking about a guy in Daniel Cormier that looks and fights as well as anyone the UFC's ever seen. And those are facts, and if you weren't here, what I would be saying is that most opponents seem to know what's coming, right? Can't stop. Can't stop. No. We'll see if the man out of the blue corner can stop it here tonight, but Daniel Cormier is back in a big way, and as you just heard, yes, he's in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Andre. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, USA, Daniel D.C. Corbin. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice right hand. Let those hands go. Oh! Stuff the takedown, no problem. 
lands a big elbow there. Got the single collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Punch there by Bishop. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Awesome, nice boxing chops there from Daniel Cormier. We talked so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC, who's shorter, to manage distance and manage space in the striking room. It won't take many of those. Oh, spinning back this lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Cormier's got the tie clinch now. Oh, and he defends another takedown there. So it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him down. Great balance, great awareness. Move the head back inside. Turn that double into a single. Sprawled and got away from his opponent. Great job. Big Paul punch land. Now we get back to range. Cormier gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. Right on the button. Powerful leg kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Muay Thai plump. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Takedown defense holds up. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Now we're nice going. kick there. Oh. Oh. Escape, escape. oh, how about this, as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a Von Flu choke. Ovin St. Pru would be proud. Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission, he got his hand.